So clearly we, we have a lot of mysteries still left to figure out, even about human sleep. Um, we uh, actually talked to one of the uh, real uh, pioneers of modern sleep research, uh, Robert Stickold of Harvard Medical School, and posed a few questions to him about sleep. And we're going to show you uh, a video of, of some of his provocative answers. There seem to be limits um, to the resolution of our dreams. So if I ask you to picture um, a little German shepherd next to a great big elephant, it turns out that if I want to ask you to describe the dog's ears, you have to zoom in on your mind because you don't have the resolution to see it. So it might be that you just don't have enough resolution on your imaginal screen, on your mental image, to see small letters. You can read large letters going by, but try to close your eyes and picture the phrase, I'm doing fine, how are you? You sort of can't squeeze it into your mental image. Everybody seems to think that their dreams have great meaning, and that's what makes us so much want to share them. I think what's going on when we're dreaming is that the brain, as opposed to the mind, is going through the events of our days and recalling memories and trying to find associated memories from other times in our life that might be relevant. So if the brain is looking for ways to put things together, you want its bias to be shifted towards, oh, that's really interesting. So when you wake up, the conscious equivalent of that bias shift towards, towards value is to say, wow, that was so meaningful. That's why your husband and my wife wakes up and say, oh, I had the most amazing dream. And I say, that's nice. But what was the great insight? But to them, and to me when I wake up, they seem incredibly meaningful. 